A final push to gain community input on a proposed Gahnawake residency law will take place at the services complex on Wednesday the 22nd and Thursday the 30th of March. Yenzahaya's Rhonda Kirby has been working on a survey to see whether the community supports the creation of such a law, which would be hived off from the Gahnawake membership law, which is in the midst of its own amendment process. While we're looking at our third and fourth um, kiosk that we'll be having at the uh, complex, that will be on Tuesday, March 21st, and the following week on Wednesday, March 29th, to collect uh, more surveys. So we're really encouraging uh, community members to still come out. Uh, we're really looking to uh, try and reach our goal of uh, over 200 to 300 surveys completed. Well, I think we have a fair indication of where we are going with uh, a draft residency law, considering what we, the information we've taken out of the past hearings and what we know from the uh, surveys to date. We also spoke to Yudzahaya's Kirby for some follow-up on a presentation on medical cannabis made at the recent winter community meeting. The topic was front page news in both local papers. Yudzahaya's Kirby talks briefly on the next steps. Um, we are on a fact-finding mission at this point. We are looking at possible uh, partnerships with people who already are licensed pr uh, providers. And we are looking at, in anticipation of uh, the federal law being passed in 2018, what would that mean for the community if recreational uh, marijuana was, uh, law was passed? Yet the highest Gasanahoe Sky Deer holds the membership portfolio for the MCK. She is participating in a two-day conference entitled From Tribal Kinship to Native Nation Citizenship to Disenrollment, which is taking place in Tucson, Arizona. We spoke to her as she was preparing for the trip. I thought it was important to see, you know, what other Indigenous leaders are facing in terms of their membership, tribal enrollment, and actually disenfranchisement. Uh, so I'm headed out at the conferences on uh, Thursday and Friday. The, the lineup is really interesting. As a matter of fact, um, Orn Lines is going to be there from Onondaga. So, you know, it'll be interesting to put an Iroquoian perspective on, on the uh, membership citizenship debate. And finally, the Ganyakahaga Ungawana Raudijokwa Language and Cultural Center made a major announcement this week. The KOR received a pair of significant donations that will, allow, that will allow, at least for the creation of a second Radiwanahnirats adult immersion program. Once again, we spoke to Yadzahaya Skasanahawe Sky Deer, who is the Mohawk Council of Gahnawage representative on the KOR Board of Directors. Uh, well, it's something that's been looked at for a long time, about getting a second Radiwanahnirats class because the demand has been uh, you know, pretty great over the last couple of years. Um, when there's an um, application process, you get about 50, and I think they can only take 15 to 16 seats. So uh, two years ago, I wrote a proposal um, to try to get funds to have this second class, and um, we were approved. The a donator wants to remain anonymous, and it was 50,000 uh, US, US dollars over five years, but, and that was to be paid annually. So I asked if uh, Mohawk Online would supplement to, to assist so that um, you know, the budget that we prepared to run the second class would run smoothly and uh, everything got approved. So the announcement was made last week and we're, we're really excited about the future of the program. So uh, is this going to be for the upcoming year or does it need more planning than that? Uh, actually, no, it's going to be for this coming fall. The applications are going out, I think, on Monday, uh, March 13th, uh, up until the end of the month. And then we'll start the screening process and the new class will begin in September.